Edmund is hell bent for revenge and some kind of closure or justice, or to, to, to see a way of how he might be able to prosecute Augustus stuff. He sees the sort of the real villain of the piece. And it's quite a transitional phase for Matilda because she's finding out a lot of things in the media and from people around her and the general public that Reed is this villain that she didn't really see him as before. But she's finding out things about her father that she didn't know, so I think Reed finds that particularly painful that he can't explain. Men of H Division, I expect you to show your new leader all the loyalty you showed your last. I think as far as Jedediah Shine goes, there's always a place for him in Whitechapel and always a place for him in the world of Ripper Street. I think he's very much my favourite villain of the past few series. It was important to personify the police, i.e. those who are hunting our heroes, with a character who could really come and sort of take centre stage and enjoy the relish of pursuing Edmund Reed. You know, he is the devil. In many ways, he's a corrupt lawman, and he's very aware of that, and he's very honest about that. I think actually wears that as a badge of honor. And he has a strange moral code within himself, which is be honest about what you are. And I think we're in a world where a lot of people are being very dishonest about who they are. And this man comes who's, who's like a demon. I think from the, you know, from series two, I think, Dove brings him in as a sort of attack dog in a way. I think it's really chilling. I think Reed finds it very chilling. Finding. Drummond's still a police sergeant and and is very unsure of how to deal with this guy. He's brash and he's rude and everything that he holds dear as a policeman is at completely at odds with everything that, that Drum stands for, everything that, that on the face of it Augustus Dove stands for and everything that Reed and Drake um, stood for when they were in charge of Lehman Street. When we first meet Shine, he does things not by a rule, but by a sense of what is right. And Thatcher clings on to him, he looks up to him. But then slowly, as the season goes on, he sees the true Shine. The shine that's a psychopath, the Shine that's a sociopath, the Shine that wants to hurt people and break things. And so he starts to see Shine in that new light, and he's disgusted by him. Watching those two big beasts face each other off, I think, is going to provide for uh, some of the most memorable scenes uh, of the whole show ever.